alaikum and a very good day to our lecturer, Madam Hartini Binti Mohamed. My name is Nabila Izzati Binti Hamza, and today we warmly present to you our business plan. First of all, our group consists of three members, including me, Nabila Izzati Binti Hamza, Nur Izzati Binti Abdul Aziz, and Erin Hafni Binti Mohamed Zakli. To begin with, we decided to start our business named Delish Coffee House. Delish is a shortened form of the word delicious, used for something tasty and provides great pleasure. The business was registered on 2 January 2023 and began its operation on 5 January 2023. Our business took place at Bandar Prima Senawang Business Suite Taman Senawang Indah Negeri Sembilan. It is a well strategic location for us to start our coffee shop business. The cafe's operation hours is from 9am until 5.30pm every day. This is an additional detail for customers to know more about our business. Village Coffee House provided many kinds of beverages come with small and large sizes. Here is the full list of products offered by our business. As you can see, we provide coffee drinks as the main symbol of Delish Coffee House. Not only that, we are also providing non-caffeine drinks and pastries for a sit third customer. It is a great place to have a tea time with family and friends. This is a logo of our business. We use brown color as the background to match the coffee drinks color. Besides, an illustration of a cup of coffee was used in the logo as it is the signature for our service provided. Our motto, once tried, never regretted, is also included to attract the customers with a good presentation and services. Our mission is to serve the best quality assortment products of great coffee and related food and beverage, provide a decent service for our customers, and always release new products with a variety of flavor and a good taste. Our vision is to make Delish Coffee House as the preferred shop and by providing exceptional quality of coffee and baked goods at competitive prices to meet the demand of low, middle and high income consumers and to establish a strong presence in the city. Next, let's look at, at the environmental industry analysis. The most famous products of our company are Cafe Outlet, paired with fruit that. We finally came up with the idea of making Cafe Outlet as our signature coffee as it is quite hard to find these types of coffee in our local coffee shops. Apart from that, fruit that is the best dessert of our company because we are always using fresh ingredients in order to maintain the quality of food. Both products have become market leaders as most of our customers love to buy this product nearly every day. The statistic obtained from 174 respondents of local people show that over 77.6% of participants consume coffee and 53.3% people buy their coffee from branded outlets such as Starbucks, Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf and Richie Amo Coffee compared to 46.7% from non-branded outlets. It shows that some people are willing to spend their money over a cup of branded and high quality coffee. Therefore, we use a high quality coffee pins and offer them at affordable prices to win the customers. Furthermore, coffee shop trends have traditionally focused heavily on interior design. Nowadays, people tend to visit cafes with minimalist design, natural light, catchy coffee shop names and menu, and aesthetic dim decor. In order to attract the attention of customers, Village Coffee House has created a unique concept and made it stand out from competitors. We always try to bring the best comfort and deliver a great service for customers to make them feel valued. Our target market demographics is a customer between the age of 10 to 65 years old, which is children, adults, and elderly. The target market for coffee drinks is more to adults and elderly, whereas the non-coffee and pastries are targeted to children. Coffee drinking has now become ingrained in Malaysian culture. The coffee culture across the globe has deeply influenced and shaped the cafe culture in Malaysia, especially in the urban landscape with hectic lifestyles. Now, let's move on to the description of venture for our business. For our product, Delish Coffee House main offering is gourmet roasted coffee with varieties such as mocha latte, macchiato, espresso, fancy cappuccino, 
and break coffee. We also have non-coffee beverages for our customers who do not drink coffee as in the menu such as lemonade, iced tea, hot chocolate, fruit smoothie and others. We are also offering pastry products including muffins, croissants, bagels with cream cheese, cinnamon rolls and fruit tarts. Some problems in Delish Coffee House that our business solve are firstly, using less caffeine ingredients to cut down on caffeine. There is one naturally low caffeine coffee bean called Laurina. Its caffeine percentage is between 0.4 until 0.75% compared to 1.2 until 1.6% in most other Arabica coffees. This will reduce the habits of people nowadays who consume too much caffeine to stay asleep. Secondly, while most cafes are designed for adults, we consider the needs of parents who want to grab a cup of coffee with their children. The Lish Coffee House is a great option for child-friendly cafes because it offers kid play areas in indoor playgrounds for families. To increase profits, the Lish Coffee House uses a volume-based pricing. It can be an effective way to sell more products because it encourages customers to purchase a larger quantity by offering competitive rates. For example, the more coffee our customers consume in a month, the lower the price gets. Even though we are using social media to promote our product, we are glad to hire a social media influencer to do the paid review to help the company to gain the trust of targeted customers. This is because Social media influencers have the potential to help in increasing customer confidence to buy this product as people will be more influenced by those who have high influence. The best strategy for maintaining that the business plan remain is to include a timeline. Here is the timeline of our business. Next, let's look at our next presenter. Marketing analysis and competition. For target market, our target market for our product is for coffee drinks. Our target market is going to be office worker and student. We have choose strategic location that how many industry that give a uh, us chance to get more worker uh, that pass ne ne nearby our shop. Student also like to do their work uh, or study uh, leisure environment and comfortable place. We have a friendly environment and a coffee place. Moreover, customer can buy can buy our product and our premium shop. Uh, our business does not provide delivery service but they can order through uh, uh, for bread food or food panda. For product needs, uh, our major business is selling uh, coffee using high, uh, high quality ingredient to be served to the local people in Malaysia. Our goal is to create the opportunity for our customer to explain the new type and flavor of coffee we produce. We would like to become one of the shops in Malaysia that provide a great flavor of coffee with our own signature that can be re recovered by local people. For marketing strategy, marketing strategy refers to the overall strategy of a company to reach potential customer and convert them into customer for a product and service. And also for a product is marketing planning can include impending product strategy. One example is to develop a successful product line by and supporting product. Another strategy is to change a product packaging to make it more attractive uh, than a competitor does on to create the precision that the product has also been improved. We have five of marketing strategy which is quality, brand name, packaging, design and labeling for pricing of product is uh, a pricing strategy is a model of method used to determine the best price for a product or service 
for one cup uh, of coffee per coffee is five ringgit only. For the place is uh, the Delish Coffee House. Uh, our business is located at Bandar Prima Senawang Business Switch, Taman Senawang Indah, Senawang Negeri Sembilan. The location is uh, situated near a supplier which can make it easy to get the raw material. Uh, this uh, this Delish Coffee uh, House also have a promotion. Our promotion strategy is a plan to create or increase demands for a product. The goal of any promotional strategy is uh, to introduce the product to potential uh, customer and convert them to purchase our product. Financial plan, ownership structure. Daily Coffee's how is a partnership business firm. The, uh, this business is owned by five members which are Nabila Izati, Betty Amza B, a general manager, Adrian Afni Betty Muhammad Zakri B, a marketing manager, Nuru Izati Betty Abdul Asi B, finance manager, Nick Jumani B, Nick Nazran B, a administrative manager, and Wan Farah Betty Wan Ismail B, a operational manager. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nurul Izzati Binta Abdul Aziz as a financial manager for Delish Coffee House. I'm going to explain our financial plan. Based on our forecast, we have made a pro forma income statement. Our business will achieve profit as early as the first year which is around 138,852 ringgit. This is because we have made detailed and clear budgeting for all departments. If our sales and purchase projection is according to the plan, we will get the profit as I mentioned just now. Accumulation profit for the first three years will represent a 27% growth, which is 393,255 ringgit. Moreover, in the early stage of planning to make this business, we have made project implementation to figure out how much capital needed for the whole operation. It turns out that we need 258,643 ringgit to run the business. Before doing a business, of course, deciding on the capital and where to get it one of the most crucial parts to face. However, we have decided to make a loan from Ben Rakyat with a total of 100,643 ringgit and combined with the owner contribution as capital with total 158,000 ringgit. Capital from the owner contribution, we have our business to buy furniture fitting, office supplies, business equipment, working capital and pre-operation. Apart from that, since our business requires a coffee machine, the cash amount also help us to purchase them. For vehicle and espresso machine, we will help we'll be using loans to help purchase the assets. For project milestone, as for now we have accomplished some of the things that we have plan which uh, our business had complete proposal and business planning on 30 May and 1st June 2022. We also made a loan acquisition proposal and acquire a location for our business. Furthermore, we purchased business equipment on 2nd September 2022. After that, the final recruitment personnel were made on 90 April 2022, which are general manager and then administrative manager, marketing manager, operational manager, and lastly, financial manager. Our activity on ordering raw material is on 16 November 2022. For marketing and creating branding, we have discussed and will finalize on 4 December 2022. 
we start our production and operation on 5th January and also receive the first sales receipt on 10 January. Furthermore, we decided to expand our business and retail on 24th March and renew our strategic plan by the end of 2024. To summarize, we believe that our business, Danish Coffee House, will meet the demand and become one of the most competitive advantage business compared to the other competitors. We also hope to be a loyal customer based in the second year of operation and Delish Coffee House will be well established in Malaysia and internationally in the future. We also intend to open more branches in Malaysia and to introduce our product to the global market in the coming years because our product is worth the money that our customers pay and the quality of our product exceed your expectation which is consistent with our business motto once tried never regretted lastly our team will be forever providing the best for our customer that's all from us thank you